Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Are you excited for another story? I know I am. So let's get started. Today I'm going to tell you the story called The Day When Termite Ate, all, ate the Contract in Kaaba. So let's get started. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, received the message of Allah at the age of 40 and since then he started calling the people of Makkah towards worshipping one God, Allah. The disbelievers in Makkah found this idea insulting to their idols. They followed the footsteps of their father and forefathers and worshipped many idols. They even placed idols in Kaaba. They said that they were following the religion of Prophet Ibrahim and had placed idols of Prophet Ibrahim and Ismail inside Kaaba. When Prophet ﷺ did not stop spreading the message of Allah and many people became Muslims, that is, believers were furious. They announced a social boycott with Muslims. Nobody could talk to them or do any form of business or trade with them. Muslims were forced to move out to a valley called Shaibi Abi Talib. In this valley, Muslims lived for three long years. During this time, there was no food and Muslims were forced to eat branches from trees. Finally, after the period of three years, some disbelievers proposed that this ban should be lifted. The disbelievers had written the contract against Muslims and hung it inside Kaaba. The door of Kaaba was locked. Hazrat Abu Talib, who was Prophet's uncle, went to the disbelievers of Makkah and told them that the termite ate the contract except the place where the name of Allah is written. Prophet Muhammad told his uncle all this and he was told by Allah through Wahi. The disbelievers, especially Abu Jahl, said that it was impossible. Hazrat Abu Talib said that if what I say is true, then you will lift the social ban. Everyone agreed on this term and the doors of Kaaba, Kaaba were unlocked. As the disbelievers entered Kaaba, they were shocked to see that what Hazrat Abu Talib said was absolutely true. Termite did eat the contract and only that part of it was left which had the name of Allah written on it. The disbelievers saw this miracle with their own eyes but their arrogance came over and still they did not believe in one God. As promised, the social ban was lifted and the Muslims were allowed to come back to Mecca and start living there. Sadly, it was this year that Prophet Wasallam's uncle and his dear wife, Hazrat Khatija, died. Prophet announced that year to be the year of grief. So that, guys, was a story of how the termite ate the contract inside Kaaba. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it with your family and friends and I'll, inshallah, see you in the next one. Till then, Piyamanullah.